I've sort of broken down in three key areas. When you're looking after a strength program for any sport, um, you want to do a bit of a needs analysis. So first you want to understand the sport demands. Um, so looking at things like the positions the athletes are getting into. So for joint positions that you want to um, replicate and also load, uh, the neuromuscular demands, the physiology, so how explosive, how much endurance is involved, um, the uh, contact, so is it a non-contact sport, t table tennis, or is it a contact sport like rugby, and therefore we need to develop things like body armour, your traps, muscle around the shoulders, hips um, to be able to withstand the body contact then number two so if number one sport demand number two your environment constraints so take into account the time you have with the athletes that's massively important particularly if you're uh, if you do have olympic lifting as part of your methodology for your power development the space that you have with the athletes equipment um, so if you're going to not use olympic lifts but you want to use um, loaded jumps do you have gym aware uh, do you have anything to be able to track the velocity of the barbell to help uh, drive competition and intent in the weights room? What's the lifting culture? So what's if you're working under a high performance manager and you're the head strength coach, uh, what's their stance on Olympic lifting? Uh, or are they more into loaded jumps or is it a bit of both? Number three, so if we've got number one, sport demands. Number two, your environmental constraints. And then number three, the athlete's profile. So looking at your squad, looking at the age of the athletes you're working with. Obviously, if they're youth athletes and they've never set foot in the weights room, you're not going to teach them how to snatch day one. Um, you're going to need to be able to build up their movement competency. Uh, what's their medical history? I know working with athletes um, with patella tendon issues, catching a dynamic, um, uh, dynamic, uh, so catching the bottom of a squat, sorry, from doing a clean, uh, doesn't feel great on their patella tendon. So if that's a new stimulus, you need to build that into them for those patella tendon issues. A recent podcast I listened to, which is a new segment we did in the last few weeks, shout out to the Marketing Millennials. I um, was recommended by this episode on another podcast that I listened to. Um, Daniel Murray's the host, and it was the episode, which is a recent one, The Rise of Short Form and Long Form with the guest being Casey Petrie. So for anyone that's got want to work on your marketing skills, um, or what you, perhaps you're, you're managing a your business and you're interested, or perhaps you just want to improve your social following, uh, make sure to check out that episode. absolutely loved it. Some, some great actionable tips that you can apply to your marketing.